Happy New Year's, guys. I know this is going to post after the Janu- after January first, but you know, either was, either way, it's still the, the you know the beginning of a new year, and um, so just to kind of you know before I start off with what I kind of want to say, um, if you guys want to have any type of influence over what I discuss or talk about in future videos, you know, please leave it down in the comments, whether it be a question or some type of inquiry, which is the same thing as a question, whatever the case may be, or maybe some type of experience you want to share that, you know, I, I might be able to expand upon with relating to it, whatever the case may have been. But, um, you know, just, you know, just leave something down below. If you don't, that's fine. Um, so today, uh, I fasted. So at the moment, it is 722. Uh, we broke, my father and I, we broke our fast at 6, no, 5.30. And we had to wake up at 5.50 a.m. in order to make sure we eat. Um, and so we basically, the whole point was that we fasted um, whilst the sun was up, right? So when the sun was down and when it was dark outside, that's when we would break our fast. And with it being winter, currently... The fasting, uh, we don't have to fast for um, that long. So usually during Ramadan, it's during the summer or usually during summer months um, where it is daylight for longer. So it can become a lot harder. But today it was very easy, easy peasy. Of course, I got hungry. I felt myself getting hungry um, because it's like I don't fast as often as my father. So uh, but it, it wasn't enough to get in the way of anything. So today I, you know, woke up at, you know, 5.50 a.m., 8, and then went back to sleep at around 6.40 something, or maybe even 7 o'clock. No, 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 it was 6.40 something. And then after that, um, after going back to sleep, I woke up, and what I did was clean. I just kind of sat in my, in my room just kind of thinking. So I wanted to kind of set some types of boundaries when it came to fasting. Like when it came to fasting, um, not only am I, going, am I going to fast from food and water, but it was also going to include video games, television, uh, social media, YouTube, um, pornography, music, um, any type of like explicit content or inappropriate content, uh, swearing slash cursing, lying, junk food, which of course I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be eating, but when I do eat, you know, things like that, avoid those types of things. Um, and any content I would consume, it would have to be something that I would have to see as productive, like purposeful, like as if I went out to look for something to educate me. Um, so, you know, that, that would be the only exception of like, let's say I might load up YouTube or I might get on Netflix or something like that. So yeah, I was sitting in my room thinking, and um, I was just kind of looking around like, I need more space in here. I, you know, I don't have a lot of space. So I was like, okay, let me clean up one of the closets um, upstairs in order to kind of open up more space so I can put whatever I'm not using now in that closet. And then that just kind of ended up leading into cleaning like just the entire day. So I cleaned that closet. I wiped down, well, I uh, swept the kitchen and the upstairs. I... Well, yeah, I've cleaned that closet. I even cleaned the rest of my room. I cleaned under my table, uh, moved my bed, um, cleaned under my dresser, things like that. I did I did a good amount of cleaning today, which I'd say was very productive. And one thing I want to mention was is kind of funny is that since I am off today, I don't I didn't have work today, and I was fasting, you know, from you know all the other stuff that I am fasting from. Um, I was going to read, I was going to read the books that I have, but funny, you know, funny thing is with me cleaning, I ended up not reading a single page of any of the books that I have today, um, if I'm not mistaken, right? So it was like, I woke up, cleaned, 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 and then I had a workout and then we broke our fast and then I had to take my sister. Now, I didn't have to take my sister, but... I asked my sister if she wanted to go to Barnes and Noble um, earlier today, and she was like, "Yeah, sure." So I ended up taking her. Um, now I'm back home, 
And then now I am, you know, doing this, I'm putting together this video and I am, you know, editing it and speaking over it. So it's like, you know, I haven't even read a single page uh, and it, my night is about to come to an end uh, soon. But, you know, I still have tomorrow, I still have all the other days left in life in order to, you know, read books. Um, and maybe I don't just have to limit the fasting limitations just to, let's say, Mondays and Thursdays. Maybe I could also apply them to everyday life or at least try to apply them to, let's say, you know, extended periods of time each day or every other day or whatever the case may have been. So, um, and then to mention, when it came to working out, right, so the footage that you're seeing here, I am fasted. The last time I ate was around 6 a.m. So I haven't, and I worked out at around four o'clock. I worked out at around four o'clock. I finished at five o'clock. So I don't have any food or any water in my stomach. And surprisingly enough, I was able to get through the workout without feeling incredibly fatigued or feeling like I couldn't go as hard as I could, you know, um, as I have been for the past couple of days. So everything seemed to be intact. Um, everything seemed to be fine. It didn't seem like as if I was dehydrated or if I was malnourished. Um, I was completely okay. And that could have been also due to the breakfast that I had and the amount of water that I had this morning. Um, but it really, I'm especially surprised, especially due to the physical activity I had for the entire you know day because I was cleaning the entire day. So maybe... I thought I wouldn't have as much energy for my workout, but it didn't seem to affect it, especially to the parts where I had to do the well, 100 squats. So, you know, I'm thinking like maybe I'll get to 50, 60, and then I might feel lightheaded, but that wasn't the case at all. And it brings me back to um, when I first, not when I first, but um, last year when I did Ramadan. And um, I was, of course, working out I was working out just about every day or every other day um, during that time. And I would work out before we would have to break fast. And at first, for the first, um, let's say two, two, no, for the first five or six days, I was pretty gassed. I was pretty tired. Um, it was just kind of hard to keep focused on the workout because I would be so hungry. But maybe because I'm used to it, I'm used to fasting. And I'll also do some intermittent fasting as well that my body is just used to being able to function and work without having, you know, so much um, food resources within it, you know, working off of it. If you guys want to try fasting, whether it be uh, just kind of like the Islamic method or through intermittent fasting, uh, I would say definitely try it out, um, especially if you feel that you might have problems when it comes to overeating or uh, maybe you eat, you know, too many meals in a day or just too much in a day to where you know you set a certain amount of time to where you don't eat. So maybe when you wake up, you don't immediately eat breakfast because that's what I used to do. I would wake up and then immediately, almost immediately put something in my mouth. Uh, no, no. And um, sometimes that could affect you. Like I didn't realize at the time, you know, how it affected me, but you just kind of, when you start going without it, that's when you'll realize all the benefits. Um, you, of course, you, you're gonna get hungry because you're just going to have that hunger response because you're used to eating at those specific times in that day. And it's just kind of more about instead of listening to those urges, you want to listen to your mind. It's kind of almost like a mental game, right? So it's not that you are getting like actually hungry. It's just that your body is used to kind of few refueling up on resources, you know, at whatever time it is that you might eat breakfast, lunch or dinner. And when it comes to intermittent fasting, um, or I don't really call it intermittent fasting. I just kind of wake up, work out, do whatever else, and then I eat. So it's like, I'm not purely focused on what am I going to eat the moment I wake up, right? I'm more focused on, you know, how am I going to start off my day, my day by doing, you know, productive this, this, and that, right? So therefore, my life isn't so based on what food I'm eating or, you know, just you know, what I'm putting into my body. I mean, of course, I have to have, you know, of course, some type of focus, some type of education on what it is that I'm eating because I have to make healthy choices in order to just make sure my body functions, uh, you know, throughout, you know, throughout the day. So 
Of course, you still have to have some knowledge and education about, you know, nutrition and whatnot. But don't base your entire life on, you know, how much you have to eat or how little you have to eat. Um, because at that point, then, you know, you're just going to become obsessed about food, but in a different way than, um, you know, let's say people who are obese might struggle with food. And with this style of eating, you might find that you can go by just by eating two meals a day, maybe even one meal a day. There have been some times where I ate like without even realizing it, one meal a day and I was completely fine. You know, I wasn't hungry. I didn't feel like I was starving. I didn't feel like, you know, getting dizzy or a headache or lightheaded, whatever the case may be. And I used to believe that eating three meals a day was like the perfect like, you know, that was the ideal. Like, you're supposed to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? But that really, it's really a complete lie, right? Now, unless you're in some type of, you know, you're like some type of malnutritious person who needs to eat kind of like more just to sustain themselves than like the average person has to, then of course, do that, do whatever you need in order to get your health up. But for the average person, you don't even need to eat three whole meals a day. You can go by, you can go off by at least two, maybe even one and a half, depending on your your size, your general size and height. So uh, that is just kind of like one of the standards. Um, you know, I don't know if this is all throughout the world, but it's just kind of like a standard like diet practice that has been pushed upon uh, most people. Um, maybe at least here in the West, you know, again, I don't know how it is all around the world, but it's so custom to wake up, you know, eat breakfast, then go about your day, then eat lunch, then go about the rest of your day, then eat dinner, and then go to sleep probably like right after you just ate dinner. But, you know, what would be the most ideal way is to, you know, wake up, get your thoughts in order, um, possibly, you know, maybe do a little bit of cleaning or workout or, you know, maybe even go to work, actually. Um, maybe having, like, you know, some type of little stuff, like a fruit, maybe some vitamins, things like that, whatever the case may be. Um, you know, go through your day, and then you eat dinner. Or not dinner, but then you eat uh, breakfast, which might be at around 12, 11, you know, just depending on when you wake up. And then you eat dinner at around 8 or 9, and maybe you don't go to sleep until the latest 12 or something like that, right? So therefore, you know, when you're eating dinner earlier and you're eating breakfast later, you have kind of more time between your rest, between your bedtime or, you know, when you woke up or between um, the time that you have to go to sleep uh, to kind of just allow the food to digest. Because a lot of the times when I eat food and then I go to sleep um, right after, like I might be hungry in the morning when I wake up. But I feel some, it's like the food is still there. The food from last night is still there. And it just, to me, it just does not feel right to just put more food on top of that when I haven't um, went to go use the restroom, when I have when I didn't go poop or anything like that, right? So I'll just eat like some type of fruit that's high in fiber, uh, like an apple, and then go poop and then work out. So you just have to you know, really make sure um, your bowel movements are correct. Um, you know, give yourself enough space to digest the food. That's one thing as well. We don't give ourselves enough space to kind of let the food travel through our system. Um, nor do we do enough physical activity to promote the food to travel through our system, nor do we eat the proper foods that will digest properly into our system. So those are like three things that you have to focus on when it comes to, you know, you eating. Also, when eating, make sure, you know, each meal is nutrient dense enough in order to, uh, to carry you to the next meal. Because when your food is high in nutrients, you'll tend to not feel hungry as often because your body is more satiated. So that means less snacking and less irrational food decisions. So if you kind of want a more healthy relationship with food when you know it's not as best as it can be, I would say, you know, follow some type of um, fasting plan, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's about it. Again, if you have anything you want me to talk about, leave it in the comment section below. See you guys in the next video.